this is Andrew with GY6 Vids. Max, what? You wanna say hi? Come on. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. This is Max. He my buddy. We show a good boy. Labrador Golden Retriever mix. He is quite the stud. If you hear noises throughout the video, it's Senor Max. Alright. Yeah. I can still see you. Can I help you? Hey. Hey. They can still see you. They can still see you. <laughs> hey guys, this is Andrew with GY6 Vids. Today is a little bit different style ballistics gel test. Uh, what happened was I originally was filming a ballistics gel test video, which will be the next ballistics gel uh, test video in order. And at the time I didn't know all this was happening on footage until later when I started editing the film. If I've never seen it before, never seen it in any other videos, I can't find it online, I can't find any you know, blogs about it. I don't know. I need your help to look for me and help me out with this. And I need you to leave it in the comments section. We were using, of course, obviously, as always, I'm sponsored by clearballistics.com. We're using clear ballistics gel. And because of how clear the gel was, waiting for the dog. Does that scratch good? Can we continue? Oh, okay, we can continue now. So because how clear that gel was, we were able to uh, see this reaction inside of it. There was an explosion inside the gel, which you're about to see in a second. I shot at it with a, this test was originally meant for, and it's still going to be in the next video, uh, testing lever evolution rounds, 357 Magnum rounds by Hornady. Um, as you guys know, with 357 Magnums, they have a lot of powder behind them. There's a lot of pressure, so there's a lot of gunpowder in that shell. Um, and I was shooting out of an LCR, Ruger LCR 357 Magnum, which is a two inch barrel. Now most of the time, 357 Magnum rounds are shot through longer barrels, you know, six inch, eight inch, and even you know, uh, lever action, which is lever evolution meant for, uh, which gives it more time to burn the powder as it's leaving the barrel, causing more pressure, allowing it to be uh, a lot faster, higher velocities. Well, in the LCR, it has a two inch barrel, which doesn't give it a lot of room to burn up all the powder, powder which means it's a little bit less in velocity. Uh, so I shot the gel, and I could have swore I saw an explosion. I saw the light, the flash, everything. And in my head, I'm going, ooh, the camera's behind me, and I'm like, that and I saw smoke and I'm like what the heck's going on I didn't see it right off the bat because of the gunshot uh, after replaying the footage when the round impacted the gel there was a small miniature ignition inside the gel there was a flash originally I thought it was like the refraction of light coming through the gel but we were I was completely in shade there was no light coming through the gel so it wasn't that um, there was no shirt on the first shot so it wasn't that uh, it wasn't like it was burning material what I think happened was, is because of all the unexpended powder behind that 357 Magnum round at 10 feet away, here is the diagram of the gel. We're going to look at this, and I'm going to play it for you forward and back. As you can see right now, I know, don't freak out. I was kind of freaking out myself. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning trying to edit this footage, and I see this. Uh, as the round impacts, I can see the, the explosion from where I was sitting. Uh, there's an ignition, obviously, as you can see. The round's going in, boom, and it dissipates. So I think what happened was, is as the round went in, it carried with it unignited powder. So the expansion caused this temporary wound cavity right here, as you can see. Uh, it expands out, which is sucking in a lot of air, which is really, really compressed and hot at this point. And the round keeps going into another block over here that you can't really see. Um, but in this area, I think all that expended uh, unignited powder is hitting and stopping and igniting because of the pressures and the heat. Or it could have been already pre-burning, who knows. But it's causing a flash, and then that temporary wound cavity com compresses, as you can see here, and smoke is being blown out the front of where the entrance wound is. There has to be air being brought in because the cavity is expanding, air is coming in, the ignition happens, it collapses, causing the permanent wound cavity is what you're seeing now, and the gas is being blown out the front, which is carrying with it smoke because of the ignition. Um, I'm gonna show you this, I'm gonna be quiet, I'm gonna show you this video real quick, Watch it, listen for when it collapses to the primary or the uh, permanent wound cavity. You can hear the gas coming or the air coming out along with smoke. Listen for it right here. You hear that? That's weird. Do it again.
I know, I know, it freaked me out too, but it's really cool to hear. I think this is very unique. I have not seen any videos on this or anybody doing it actually. So I need your guys' help. I want you to find out, ask around, see if it's the exact same thing I'm thinking it is, which is unburned powder being drug into the, uh, the, the wound channel of the gel and igniting. Uh, because there is a lot of pressure behind that round, almost like a, a suction behind the round that might be pulling with it unburned powder or the powder is just flying and then it's igniting in the gel which is really cool. It's not what I planned on, and this is not originally, originally the test idea, but this is what I love about testing. You find out all sorts of cool stuff like this. In the comment section, I wanna hear what you think it is, but be responsible, guys. I try as hard as I possibly can to spend my time answering your questions. I'm up till three o'clock in the morning sometimes trying to answer your comments. I hope you guys appreciate that fact, but I figure if you guys have the time to leave a comment, I'm gonna try to find the time to answer as many as I possibly can, but don't take advantage of it, man. I'm trying to really comment back but some of you guys are like hey biscuits and gravy what does that have to do with anything if you're an idiot i don't want you on my channel i want the true viewers and the true fans and the true commenters and the people that are deserving of my time to be able to go back and talk to you guys i appreciate you so i hope you appreciate that fact but leave good comments if you have a joke leave a joke too i like it i think it's pretty funny um and also if you find a comment that you find interesting or funny or good Click the thumbs up button, it helps bring it to the top of the comment section so everybody can view it. Um, if you don't like it and you think that they're being a troll, comment back, get my back for me. That's what GY6 stands for, got your six. So if somebody's dogging on me or you think they're being an idiot, comment back, blow them out of the water and click thumbs down to kick them off the comment section. I appreciate you guys. I will see you soon with another up and coming video that I had for my Florida trip, which is uh, pretty unique. So hope you'll enjoy it. This will be probably posted next Friday. I'll see you guys next time. America! America! We're gonna be able to can it!